I'm Michael Lavin and I am a radio production student at the University of Westminster. A typical day in the life of a radio student. Uh, basically, we go in 9 to 5, easy peasy, uh, usually a bit of practical mostly is my favourite part. You know, we get into the studio, we work on interviews, um, you know, we get to have fun with the equipment. Um, when I first started radio, I probably spoke a lot like uh, like this, and um, I remember my first ever shows were like really nervous, and so my voice was very shaky. Um, but coming out, apparently I sound when I'm on air, apparently I sound a lot more American because I speak aloud, like I speak clearly. I'm trying to make sure everything is spoken so everyone can hear me. Somebody that inspires me, that you know, that got me, that got me into the industry. Um, I obviously love you know the likes of you know Chris Moyles who retired last year and Scott Mills is a legend just for how long he's been on Radio 1 and that, like, believe it or not, he's actually older. Oh, my, my favourite thing about radio is presenting. I love presenting, I love coming up with features and, um, no, I honestly, I could spend the rest of my life probably doing that. It's I have so much fun. Um, there are other sides, like, producing content is interesting and, uh, but being a presenter and speaking live on air, interacting with people through Twitter or Facebook social media and having them in the studio is what I enjoy. Things go wrong for me on a weekly basis. There is never a show that something hasn't gone wrong since I've been here. Um, last week alone, we were in the studio and we are doing a show and we realized halfway through that the mics were switched. So it was kind of like, before a show you set your levels. So a microphone has to be, low, a mine or the lowest it goes because my voice is so bassy and the microphones pick it up really well. Um, and then my co-host, Stephen, he is a bit lighter. He's got a bit of a lighter tone in his voice. So his level was set for my level, and my level was set for his level. So it literally shouted. It sounded like I was shouting on air, basically. And uh, we only realized halfway through, because I told Stephen, I was like, these levels aren't right. Go sit behind me and let me speak for a bit. And I spoke, and I was like, hold on. I can hear like an echo. So then I switched to his microphone, and somebody had crossed the wires so that it completely mixed up the desk. So every week something goes wrong in the desk. I've made every mistake probably there could be to make in the last couple of weeks, so I now know how to deal with them all, which is a good thing.